Okay, this is the next video covering chapter 10. Um, still doing section 10.3, the case testing claim about the mean when sigma is known. Although this is not a very common case, but you might come across problem where they give you population standard deviation. So I'm going to do one more exercise and then go to uh, uh, testing the claim when sigma is not known, which is the very, very common case. The EPA reports that exhaust emission for a certain car model has a normal distribution with the mean of 1.45 grams of neutral oxide per mile and a population standard deviation 0 0.4. So the population standard deviation is 0 0.4. The car manufacturer claims that their new process reduces the mean level of exhaust emitted. Reduced it, that means it reduced it below the 1.45. A simple random sample, N is 31, of 31 cars is taken and the mean level of exhaust emitted of this sample X bar is 1.21 uh, grams. Okay, so we need to uh, study this claim that the car manufacturer claims that their new process reduced the mean uh, uh, level of exhaust. Reduced it, that means it's a less than 1.45. This is your claim. And you know the null hypothesis must have the equal sign. Now, if you want to use your calculator, it's a Z test. So every time you have sigma, you just use a Z test. And when you have S, the sample standard deviation, you use a T test. So let me walk you through this quickly. So Z test, um, U0 is the value from the null hypothesis. Sigma is 0 0.4. Uh, X bar is 1.21, N is 31, and the sign from the alternative hypothesis is less than, and then we hit calculate, and you can see Z is negative 3.34, I write it down, and the p-value, it says 4.1795 E negative 4. E negative 4 means you have to move the decimal point four places to the left. So it's going to be actually 0 0.0004, which is definitely less than the level of significance alpha that is going to be given there later. What's the decision at the 0 0.01 significance level? Well, uh, this is alpha. My p-value is less than alpha, then you reject HO. What do you conclude about the mean level of exhaust emitted for this car model? Again, guys, if your claim in H1, this should be an H1 in your book. If your claim is in H1 and you reject HO, that means you support the claim. So you say there is enough evidence at the 0 0.0 level of significance to support the claim. That uh, the claim that what? That uh, the new process reduced the mean level of exhaust emitted for this car model. Okay, next question, which is the really important one. This is the common case because we usually don't know the population standard deviation. So i like you to focus a lot on this one. This is, again, still section 10.3. All right. The amount of water consumed per week by Montana residents is normally distributed with a known mean. A simple random sample of 26, so N is 26. Uh, residents has a mean value of 120.3, so X bar is 120.3. And a standard deviation of 10. He didn't say population standard deviation, so it's S. So now we're not using Z test. We're going to go to T distribution. The city of Bosman claims that the average water consumed in the state of Montana is not 125. So that's their claim, not 125. So this is the claim. And again, guys, what goes in the null hypothesis equal 125. Calculate the test statistic. Okay. The formula for the test statistic is this, but you guys can use your calculator to do it. It's X bar minus the mean divided by, for Z test it was sigma, but now we're using S because we have the sample standard uh, uh, deviation. So it will be 120.3. 
I'm going to show you how to use a calculator in a second. Over minus 125 divided by 10 over square root of 26. And if you do the math, it will be negative 2.397. Now, calculate the p-value. So I'm going to show you how we could have done this in one shot. So when s is given, we don't use a z distribution. We use a t distribution, which looks like a bell shade, but the edges are a bit, uh, a little bit uh, fairer. It doesn't touch, you know, just they're not closer to the x-axis or the z-axis. It's just like the z distribution. So we have to use degrees of freedom here. So you go to stat tests and it's not z test it's t test here's the t test and now we need uh, mu zero which is 125 then x bar what is it 120.3 then s is 10 then the sample size is 26 and then you have to choose the sign from the alternative, which is not equal, and then hit calculate. And when you hit calculate, you get T, which is negative 2.397, and that's what I put there, guys. And now the p-value, which is 0 0.0244. All right. And now we need uh, to make a decision. What's alpha in this one? It's, we'll see. Alpha is 0 0.01 right here. He gave it to us. I'll slide this through. Okay, so this is alpha. And my p-value is, let me write it down again, is 0 0.0244. If the p-value is bigger than alpha, you fail to reject HO. So it's a fail to reject HO. What is your uh, conclusion? There is not. When you fail to reject HO and your claim is in H1, you don't support the claim. There is not enough evidence at the 0 0.01 level of significance to support the claim. And you just write down what the claim is. Here's the next question. A credit card company wondered whether giving frequent flyer miles for every purchase would increase card usage, which has a current mean of 2,500 per year. They gave free miles to a simple random sample of 24 credit card holders. So that's 24. And found that the sample mean X bar is 2,542. With a sample standard deviation, S is 109. State the null and the alternative hypotheses. Calculate the test statistic. Calculate the p-value or critical value. I will touch on the critical value in another video. Make a decision and then state your conclusion. Okay, what would be HO and then H1 here, guys? It's about the mean again. This is still section 10.3. They say they want to increase the credit card usage, which is currently 25. Increase means more. That's what their claim is. If they give frequent flyer uh, miles. And that will be what? Since S given, guys, this is a t-test. So let's just go to the t-test and uh, show you the math. You go to stat. Tests. And the mu zero, which is 20, uh, sorry, mu zero is 2,500. It's, oops, I went to the wrong test. Test, T test. Now, mu zero 2500, X bar is 2542, uh, S is 109, N is 24, and we want the greater than, that's the sign. Calculate. I got T is 1.888. And the p-value is, you can see it right here, 0 0.0359. Okay, this is all I need. We're doing it at alpha equals 0 0.01, which is bigger than 0 0.01. So what's the decision? F 
fail to reject HO. What is your conclusion? I'm not going to write this conclusion down, but here is what the conclusion is. There is not enough evidence at the 0 0.01 level of significance to support the claim that giving frequent flyer miles for every purchase would increase card usage. So actually what they're doing is not working. Uh, another uh, question with uh, this, it's very important. That's why I have several examples. This is again still section 10.3 guys. A fast food outlet claims that the mean waiting time in line is less than 3.5 minutes. A random sample of 15 customers has a mean of 3.6 minutes with a standard deviation uh, with a standard deviation of 0 0.6 minutes. Well, I'm going to change the 3.6 to 3.4. Just make it 3.4. Uh, with a standard deviation of 0 0.6. If alpha equals 0 0.05, test the fast food outlets claim using p-values. Assume that the population is normally distributed. So guys, H1 here. So the mean, we want to test that the mean waiting time is less than 3.5 minutes. So this is equal here. And what do we have here? We have X bar to be 3.4. We have S to be 0 0.6. We have alpha to be 0 0.05. We have N is 15. Okay. It's a t-test. Once he gives you S, guys, automatically it's a t-test. Very simple using your calculator. So let's do, uh, let's use the calculator. So it's a stat, tests, and again t-test. Okay, so we got a 3.5 here, watch. Uh, X bar is 3.4, S is 0 0.6, n is 15 and we want to test that it is less than this is where the clay where the null what the null hypo, alternative hypothesis sign is all right guys so i got t is negative 0 0.645 and i got the p value to be 0 0.2645 all right what's the conclusion that we can make here since the p-value guys is more than alpha we fail to reject ho remember if p-value less than alpha we reject ho greater than alpha we fail to reject ho interpret your decision there is not enough evidence at the 0.0